Hi there, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got a little sketchbook tour. And when I say little, I mean little. Let's have a look through my third sketchbook. This is my third ever completed sketchbook and you might recognize this one if you watched the video of me filling up the entire thing in two days. I will leave it here if you are interested. It might be better to watch that one first actually, it might make more sense. This is a tiny Hanamule watercolor sketchbook. It's an accordion sketchbook and I decided to use it to paint the week that I spent in Fortaventura. It was a week's holiday and I wanted to document it in a little sketchbook that I can refer to. Just make sure it's the right way. Here we go. I thought it made sense to begin the sketchbook with the beginning of my holiday so I've just got a little bit of details there and I generally like to record the takeoff. I don't know why, it's something that I've just always enjoyed doing. If I get a window seat and it's not cloudy or really dark, I will be recording the takeoff. I like looking back on them and sometimes you can get like a really smooth takeoff where you can hardly tell you're in the air and then other times it's it's not that. But yeah, I thought this was a nice way to introduce it. The first day we spent by the pool chilling. I feel like the first day on a holiday should always be relatively chill, so that's what we did. Honestly, these trees are tiny, like look at it compared to my nails. I think this sketchbook is five by five centimeters, so it's so small. I've never worked in anything this small. Next, we've got the second day. This is the view from our balcony. It's probably not done very well, but I do quite like the indigo into Viridian for the sea. I think that's probably the best part of it. There was a lot going on that I had to really simplify here. Like there were fences, roads, paths. There was so much going on here. There were so many other buildings and I had to really simplify it to get this. I quite like how the clouds went as well. Like I used a tissue paper to remove some of the paint. That's my usual technique and I really really like how that went. On the third day we did a sailing trip. I've been on boats before and I don't really get seasick but sailing was a bit of a different experience. There wasn't much that I could really capture because I was also kind of scared to get my phone out because I, I didn't want to lose it in the ocean. It's, it's a good phone, I only just got it, I didn't want to lose it in the ocean. So I literally just got a bit of the boat and another bit of the boat. It was from the exact same clip. I do quite like this one though. I like how rich the colours look and I like that there's a bit of blooming but I feel like on this paper it doesn't bloom as much as other papers because this would have been like I dropped the water in it you know to try and create some blooms and it's already really soft some papers just kind of like that it's similar on the next one this is the view from the boat and you can see that i've literally added paint and then dropped water on and it's a little bit odd but you know there should be separation here usually you'll be able to see lots of blooms and i feel like something to do with this paper that it just, just isn't any there's a bit of separation here but there are no blooms it's probably just one of the qualities of the sketchbook, but I've not tried any other Hannah Mule sketchbooks, so I feel like I might have to try some more just to see if the others do this. I think the boat looks okay. This page is from day four and I feel like without context it looks a little bit odd but this is a parrot. There are quite a lot of parrots over there that were hand fed and I didn't actually take a video of this one, it was just a photo. Then this is... I have all the information in the original video but I think this is a sperm whale and they have about six or seven on the island that like different types of whales that just washed up and they have them up on these rods like this and I mean they're quite interesting to look at but yeah apparently they've all just washed ashore and died of natural causes this is just the view from the beach there were quite a lot of rocks down here so we were able to do a lot of snorkeling and saw some stingrays which was really lovely i love snorkeling i find it so fun i also did the tissue paper technique up here but you can see there's not really clouds so i wonder if the paper just isn't very good at lifting there's quite a lot of paint that's settled over there too i think this one is kind of cute to other people that see it but it's lovely to me because it's so memorable of the day and what the view was and it's really sentimental. This continues to be day five, it's just me chilling some vaven on the beach. This was our first holiday since Covid so this was just a pure relaxation kind of holiday. I tried to include the little stingray here, well I say little it was like over a meter but I tried to include it here just to remember it really. I know it doesn't like look as 
pretty but i just wanted to remember that we swam with stingrays this is a cute church that we passed on the way back we went for a little bit of a wander unfortunately the paper is a little bit warped because it's kind of got the like this red strap glued underneath i don't know if you can tell that it's a bit bumpy which is unfortunate but i really love how this one turned out i think it looks really cute although i did make the sky so much darker than it actually was i don't know why it looks like it's night time there it really wasn't that dark Moving on to the other side now, it begins with this one. There were some days where I hardly recorded or took photos at all because they were so chill and it kind of seemed a little bit pointless, there wasn't really anything to look at. But this one was the walk back from the previous day and this is the evening of the previous day. I just wanted to get a little bit of what the sunset was looking like because it was just a really beautiful colour in the sky so I wanted to take note of that. Obviously this was supposed to be a path on the walk back but it's so small it's literally half of the 5x5 so i really struggled i could not be like a miniature artist i i cannot this one i tried so hard to get blooms for you can see that there are some water blooms around here but i literally did the entire thing in indigo and dropped water and there should have been so many more blooms i feel like the paper just doesn't really like blooms so we haven't got many but this was just um some stepping stones in the pool that we ran across Cross and it was really fun. Then there's just some kind of bits and bobs. This was the view from our front door, it was just a part of the hotel. And then this was the walk to the beach. There was a huge nature like conservation area that you couldn't go to, it was just grass and apparently there were turtles in there and everything so we weren't allowed to go there so there were only like designated walkways you could take to go to the beach and on this one you passed this cute little lighthouse so I wanted to make note of both of them because they were like on the walk to the beach. It's not a very aesthetic sketchbook but it's really lovely for me because I feel like it tells the story in each day of what we saw and what we did. Then approaching the end of the holiday now, I tried to get another view of the beach from a different angle on this one and I don't think it really worked. I think I used cobalt for the sky and you can see there is so much granulation and I tried to lift it again and it just was not lifting with my usual technique so it looks crazy pigmented, it doesn't look like a sky at all. And also I used cobalt turquoise here and there's so much granulation which is lovely if you like granulation this could be the sketchbook for you because like there is so much it just doesn't really work for the sky and I used a bit of gel pen for sea foam and I feel like it kind of works well okay next this is the last day and what I wanted to capture on this one was that the sand was kind of volcanic in Tenerife and I'm pretty sure Lanzarote has it too the sand is mostly black but in Fjord, because the sand comes over from the deserts in Africa it actually is mixed so it kind of looks yellow and then as the water comes and washes part of it away you can see the black underneath and I just thought that was so fascinating. In this one I probably should have included something like that because it kind of looks like I'm just standing in quicksand. It was actually in water but the water was so clear it literally just kind of looks like I'm sinking into the sand but yeah I just wanted to remember that moment really. This one is very sad this was just a view that we passed from the coach on the way back to the airport. Obviously it's not fantastic but I just wanted to end it nicely with like going back to the airport because we started with like on the plane it was just sort of on the trip back. So this is just a tiny sketchbook but obviously I didn't want to skip one in my sketchbook tour series I wanted to make sure I have every single one on here and I love that it just captures my entire holiday in such a tiny little memory. If you have an accordion sketchbook or a tiny sketchbook like this and you're wondering how to fill it, capturing your entire holiday with like little memories of each day is just so lovely. It's been lovely to reflect and look back in this sketchbook together. It's just such a lovely keepsake so I definitely recommend it. Thank you for watching my third sketchbook tour. If you've missed my first or second I will leave the playlist up here i'd love if you could check them out please like this video if you enjoyed it and let me know down below in the comments which one was your favorite i think mine is the little church i just think it's so pretty i'd love if you could subscribe so you don't miss any of my future sketchbook tours and hopefully i'll see you in my next video Bye bye